47, it's no secret we're living in stressful times, and that stress could lead to more broken hearts. A new study finds cases of broken heart syndrome increased during the pandemic. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us now from the newsroom. Uh, Haley, what's the link between this broken heart syndrome and the coronavirus? Well, Lisa, there are two parts. One, doctors have a better understanding of what kind of heart damage patients can suffer after an infection with coronavirus. And two, the bigger picture is the fear of getting the virus is putting a lot of stress on people's hearts. Both of these can lead to what's called broken heart syndrome. The idea that two old people in love can't live long without each other and die from a broken heart is a true phenomenon, according to cardiologist Dr. George Adesino with Kelsey Siebold. But the science behind that surge of emotions is more complicated. It's kind of related to people who are having like a very severe traumatic experience, grief or like extreme sorrow. And essentially the body releases this adrenaline surge in the bloodstream. And that adrenaline can sometimes make a portion of the heart um, not pump as well as we would like it to. So they get this temporary heart failure and the symptoms can actually be pretty severe enough where they can almost mimic the signs of a heart attack. However, a quick scan usually reveals no blocked arteries and therefore it's not the same as a heart attack, but it is dangerous. Cleveland Clinic researchers found cases of broken heart syndrome doubled in two of their hospitals in March and April, just as the pandemic ramped up job losses, isolation and concerns surrounding coronavirus. They now believe extreme stress could be causing this increase. While at Houston Methodist, Dr. Barry Trachtenberg monitors COVID COVID patients for heart damage. He says it's not just high emotions that can trigger broken heart syndrome, but also an infection. A double whammy putting those with increased worries right now and those with COVID-19 both at risk for this syndrome. All right, so how to prevent it? Self-care, exercise, and meditation are once again the words of wisdom from doctors on keeping this syndrome and other conditions caused by stress from harming your health. Right now, obviously, guys, the most important thing is to stay healthy, no matter what that means.